hello welcome back to my channel if i sound a bit strange it's because i do sound a bit strange i'm getting over a cold uh it's pretty much all gone i actually got it literally a week ago last saturday i started to feel <clears throat> a bit of a sickness coming along and then earlier this week i had a very bad sore throat hated it worst time ever not really but uh i'm gonna exaggerate um yeah i was just i've just been really sick and i haven't had a voice and i have just been feeling very groggy and tired i am wow that's a that's a look there i <laughs> I am feeling a lot better. I just sound, I'm just a little bit congested still, but my throat is okay. My sinuses are pretty much cleared up. Um, I'm feeling great. So, and the best part about it is the weather has been so much better these days. The past like three, two, three days, it's been kind of warm, but a little chilly and it's beautiful it is august 28th it is a saturday it is about 11 in the afternoon well early morning whatever you want to call it and i i'm gonna close my window for a second because that's rude i swear like the past hour there was no constriction and then all of a sudden they're like all right let's start hacking away anyways um yeah so it is a beautiful Saturday and I decided to finally get my butt up and do something uh, this weekend. So today I thought I would have like a little solo date day where I just go and do some of my favorite things that I like to do. I haven't actually been exploring Seoul at all for like the past month and a half because I hate summer, so um, most of July and most of August, I did not really do anything. But basically, I just want to have like a solo day, check out some new places that I've been wanting to check out. I've been really wanting to go to like museums and exhibits because I like that kind of stuff. And Seoul is constantly having like new things pop up like every month. And I just haven't been going. But um, last night... I booked a ticket for a photography, I believe it's a photography exhibit, that I can use anytime in the next month. So I don't have to actually go today, but I figured, you know what, why as well go today? And that exhibit in that museum is in Songpa. Songpa-gu is just like right next to Gangnam. So it's just like the neighborhood over or whatever. Um, and that's also where Lotte World Tower is, and what is it, the Socheon, Socheon Lake? That big lake, that's where Lotte World is. Um, the last time I was actually in that area walking around, I can remember, was either end of April or beginning of May. Like, right as the cherry blossoms were all gone. That's the last time I was over there. So it's been a few months since I've been in that area. And I've actually never really walked around that area before. So yeah, I'm going to kind of check out a bunch of places in that area. I have um, some cafes that I can go to and then the museum. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna walk around that area. And then I also, last night, I the, the sunsets have also been really, really beautiful lately uh, for the past few days. And so I kind of want to try to catch the sunset near the Han Gang, the Han River. But um, anyways, nothing opens until 12. So I've just kind of been like moping around my place um, for like the past four hours because I actually woke up quite early today. Uh, but I'm all ready and I'm going to head out soon. Um, it's actually like been really hard to kind of motivate myself to actually go out and, you know, uh, appreciate where I live and stuff. I actually feel quite guilty and bad because I'm very much a home buddy. Like I really enjoy staying at home and just chilling. I could easily do that. I did that for the majority of my summer vacation. 
10 days off. I had 10 days off plus weekends and I, many of those days I did not actually go out and do stuff. I just stayed at home and did stuff. So I'm very much a homebody and I was hoping that like my move to Seoul would like make me go out more and do stuff because there is so many things to do in the city and there's so many things I want to do, but I always just convince myself, like, especially if like I don't have any plans with other people, like if I have plans with other people, then yeah, I go out and I'll do something. But I guess this is just like a part of like living abroad as a, living ab abroad as a foreigner is like, I mean, I feel like a lot of people are lonely. <laughs> And I would be one of those people as well. I just realized I don't have any earrings on. Let me put my earrings on and chat about my feel thoughts and feelings lately. But yeah, so um, I'm very much a homebody. I am an introvert as well. So like, <clears throat> and I also do have a bit of social anxiety. So sometimes it is very much a struggle to motivate myself to actually go out and do something um when i'm by myself like on days i don't have any plans with other people because when i'm with other people i have more motivation and more determination to do stuff and i actually do it like they kind of help me but when i'm by myself i don't know i kind of just like talk myself out of it and be like oh i can do it next time i can do it another day another day another day and then what do you know seasons pass and i haven't done what i've wanted been wanting to do for like months but like i also realized that this is the worst m my in my opinion the worst time in korea right now aka summer so i'm cutting myself some slack for not doing a lot of stuff in summer because like this is like the one time where i will excuse my lack of activities <laughs> and outings because summer is just, no, no. I've gotten so comfortable with just chilling in my home, in my apartment, and I need to, I need to experience the city. And the funny thing is, is that there's no real good excuse for why I always push things back and say, oh, I can do them another time. I'm just not gonna go out today. I don't understand why I have this anxiety about like going out solo and like having a full day of doing things and going to places in a big city with a lot of other people, but <laughs> surrounding me. I don't like crowds, so I mean like, fine, fair enough. Um, <laughs> but I don't understand why I have this, this fear when the days and the moments where I actually do go out and like I do go to cafes or do go to museums and do things that I actually enjoy doing and I do them by myself, I end up loving those moments. Like I, I never regret, I can't think of any time I ever regretted one of those moments where I did that. Um, and so I know that I enjoy doing that. It's just the initial of like getting out there and going going out but yeah anyways that was my little rant apparently i've been filming for 16 minutes which is very long <laughs> let's get on with the day yeah shall we also i wanted to show you this i repotted my monstera which i think i've shown you in previous videos please ignore the mess that you might see behind me. But anyways, look, a new leaf is growing. I'm so happy. Recently, this little guy, it's a new addition. I'm, I can officially say I have a green thumb. I've never thought of myself as a person who has a green thumb, but I, I have so, I have, I'm proud of myself. Anyways, um, and also my pothos is doing exceptionally well as well. I do want to propagate this as well. There's actually a lot of nodes that I can use to propagate it. 
look at this one like this one is very uh, you can't even see but whatever um but this guy has wow just so impressive i think pothos has become my official like favorite plant to grow and watch to grow but yeah anyways this is my pothos i like him i got him in junju he came with me to seoul and um he's my favorite but don't tell the others Okay, that's enough of my plants. Um, I'm just <laughs> dilly-dallying because my bus doesn't come for another 10 minutes and it's literally like a three minute walk away. So, oh my gosh, you did not see that. Um, I need to take that stuff out. So that's all recyclable stuff. So please excuse that. I haven't been taking out my, my recyclables for like the past two weeks, so yeah.
just where you were.